Hi everyone, Jopke here with another art journal page for you. And this time I'm using some paper from a, a, a magazine I had, quite a thick magazine which had thick uh, pages and I just cut out two of them and glued them together and um, they are perfect for a page. So that's what I'm using today. And the first thing I did was sticking down some med pieces of medical tape. I had this uh, white and a brown one, uh, which has a really nice sort of canvas uh, texture. So just um, randomly putting down some pieces of this tape onto my page for texture. And also I had this a baby wipe lying around on my table and it all dried out so I decided that could be uh, great to use for texture as well and then uh, glued it down onto my page for even uh, more texture and uh, the glue I am using for this is a mud patch and my container is almost empty I see but that will be refilled. Then I'm going to add a layer of gesso and that is a heavy gesso by Art Basics. And I'm using my spatula for that. And that will give it also, again, a lot of texture. And these are uh, spatulas really to uh, dye your hair. And they work perfectly. A stencil by Tim Holtz and uh, a modeling paste I thickened up because it was very thin and I added some baby powder to it and uh, now it's a quite a thick um, texture and it smells very nice and um, using the stencil in a few places um, on my page but to prevent the modeling paste from drying out because it's in a little container now um, I use a piece of plastic foil that I put on top of the paste so I make sure it touches the paste and that will prevent it from drying out um, adding some color to my page and I'm using uh, a few sprays and um, just wanted to have a very light layer of color, a subtle layer of color. So I uh, use the tube from the bottle and I'm spraying a bit and also um, using water to make it run and move on the page. And every now and then when it's too wet, I uh, use a paper towel to uh, remove uh, some of it and I'm using my fingers as well to uh, uh, smear it out a bit so it will all have a very nice uh, light uh, color and using the same uh, spray for splattering a bit and then uh, this is um, these are some stamps I bought at Action for you Dutch people. Um, and I'm using the archival ink, the color coffee, to stamp some butterflies onto my page. And I use this big one a couple of times and I also have a small butterfly that I use as well. This is... Um, the dilutions spray and I used this spray to make the spray you see on the right hand um, because the dilution sprays are water soluble and they react with anything wet I tried to make uh, this a uh, permanent spray and that kind of worked uh, what you add to that is um, mod podge or an art or gel medium and that will make it a lot more permanent than it is um, as a dilution spray because that will react with anything wet even after drying for uh, a very long time 
and the one I made now is a sort of permanent. Um, you need to try very hard to make it run, so uh, that's a good thing. Um, just use some water, uh, some gel medium or Mod Podge, and a few uh, drops of the ink, and then it it uh, will be a permanent spray. But you can find a lot of uh, videos about that on uh, YouTube. So what I did with the dilutions, I used it with a little brush and some water to color the stamped butterflies. And now I am um, using these stickers, deciding uh, which ones that I want to use. And um, they are 3D stickers. And I'm using these two because uh, color-wise they uh, uh, fit the page best. And just drawing in some antennas with my micron pen. And then um, I am coloring the edges with the Neo Color 2 crayons and just adding a, f a bit of the color onto the edge and then use a, a wet brush and that will color the edges uh, of my page and I'm using two colors and that's a kind of a teal color and a green color um, to make a kind of a, a border really onto my page uh, later on, I will also go in with an ink pad for distressing it a bit more. Um, again, some tape, and this is again a fabric tape. Um, I thought the pattern would, uh, would look very nice uh, to my page, so I just uh, cut down a few pieces and tear it in half to give my uh, page a few more accents of uh, color and pattern. And here I am inking the um, edges again and this is the archival ink the coffee uh, trying to make it look a bit more distressed really a bit more grunged grungy and for the title i decided to use my little uh, letter stamps and i thought this ruler would help me uh, getting the words uh, uh, onto my page in a straight line, but uh, that immediately went wrong with the second letter, so I decided to leave that and just freestyling on putting uh, the word uh, down, and that is simplify. And also, uh, there was a little tiny heart uh, that I used as well. And for this, because there was black in the butterflies, I decided to use my uh, black stays on ink to balancing balancing it all out and uh, also uh, make some black splatters with an acrylic homemade spray paint and then I'm adding the date also with the stays on and uh, signing my page and then I think it's ready so I hope you've enjoyed watching the process of uh, this art journal page and well, hope to see you again very soon guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.